Do you want to play a very difficult and fun champion? One that has the ability to outplay his opponents and make them WOW! A champion that people will remember you for! Something memorable and amazing! Something that requires you to press 50 keys per second, but rewards you greatly in the end! Then pick Gangplank. He's... He's really nice. Yeah. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that was a nice one. Gotcha! <laughs> Got gotcha too! <laughs> Let's see, he's a zone control kind of champion that couldn't decide whether he wants to be a marksman or a mage. He decided to push his way out of this one by being both. He fights by commanding his sand soldiers army around. Forward, you peasants! His kit is really difficult but very fun to use and he does reward good players with some amazing outplay potential. He has one of the weakest early games in the entire game. His late game, however, is absolute beast where he can shred a whole team at once in no time. Champion is all good with the exception of one little thing. Shirima. What country you from? Shirima. What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and Shirima. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. Shirima. Say Shirima. It again. Say Shirima. Again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say Shirima. one more goddamn time. Shirima. God damn it. The amount of times he says Shirima is just annoying. Like, I had to mute the voice audio in game, but even then, I could still see Azir moving his lips saying, Glory to Shirima. Shut up! Jesus! Abilities! Azir's passive is called Shirima's legacy. Shrim. <laughs> really? Like, <laughs> really, Azir? Wow. Uh, it lets Azir revive a tower for 60 seconds with a 3 minute cooldown. Enemies can attack the tower to take it down even faster. I mean, this passive will be pretty useless most of the games, but every once in a while you can make it work. Janna, I'm coming for you. Alright, let's put the tower down and let's go! Azir's W is called Shurima's Peasant. Holy crap, that's a lot of text. <sighs> okay, here goes nothing. <gasps> Azir probably has bonus attack speed. His bonus is double for he summons 3 peasants. He can store up 2 of them at once. Whenever you activate this ability, you summon one of the peasants attack the location for 10 seconds. When Azir attacks something within the peasant range, the peasant will attack for Azir instead. He can hit things with multiple peasants. Azir can only command peasants that are within his own attack range. Secondary attack is the damage from the start of the game. The peasant cannot attack building because <gasps> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got it! This is basically what Azir's whole kit revolves around. Like, these little sand poops do insane amounts of damage data in the game and can shred multiple people at the same time. Azir's Q ability is called Shurima Sands. Azir commands his unit to charge to a new location. Onward, peasants! Everything that is hit on the way gets damaged and slowed. This ability is awesome late game as it lets you reposition your soldiers every 3 seconds, but early game, the cooldown is just. Ah, uh, you use this spell and that's it. These soldiers will die there because it has a four months cooldown. This is what makes Azir very vulnerable and weak during the laning phase as well. Azir's E is called Shurima's Feel my skin. Not even close, man. I am the car. Skana thinks he's the car. But I am the car. Azir dashes to a nearby peasant, gaining a shield in the process. If he runs into an enemy champion, however, the dash stops. The awesome part is that you can use spells mid-air, meaning that you can perform the SHURIMOS DRIFTER! You use the dash and just as you're about to arrive, you command your peasant to move somewhere. You can put some pretty fancy moves by doing this and it also gives you lots of style points. The problem is once again the cooldown. It's pretty much a one-way ticket. Uh oh. 
<laughs> Looks like I'm gonna get killed here. But <laughs> they don't know that I'm the cop! And I'm back. Azir's ultimate is called Shurima's Wall. Azir calls a bunch of hobos with shields to charge from behind him in a targeted direction. They push everything that they touch and also they deal some nice damage. Wait, so you're telling me that the squishiest champion in the game, that has the longest range and the safest playstyle, has to go in melee range between everyone in a team fight to use his ultimate? What kind of stupid champion design is that? Let's go, baby! Get wrecked! Never mind. We'll get them next time. Oh, get down, man! Oh, come on! I tried to record a YouTube video over here. Can I, you know, finally hit one of my ultimates? Like, like, please. I'm getting tired of that shit. Oh, get destroyed, boys! That's gonna be the game. Azir's ultimate is a game changer. It can single handedly lose you the game. <laughs> Which will happen most of the time if you decide to make a nice fake move. Uh, because the enemies can evaporate you pretty quickly after you go in. But I mean, it looks slick. Shh, they will never fight me here. What the f- How old to play a Z? Drop a Doran's drink and head to your lane. Your job in the early game is to literally not be drained it. You are weak. Get over it. If the enemy gets to fight you, you probably die. Get over that too. If you hit level 6 and manage to ultimate them on your tower, that would be nice. They won't be able to get over it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean the wall. They, they won't be able to get over the wall. Um, actually, actually they will because Rat nerfed the Zia a while ago. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're nerfing him now again. Uh, he definitely needs another nerf though, look at those stats boy, he's too overpowered, better nerf that shit. Alright, I might have gotten a bit carried away there. Uh, basically you just wanna stand back and make your peasants do the dirty work. Charge peasants! For the first 20 minutes of the game, think of it as Farmville. You don't fight, you just farm. 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 Occasionally the enemy will just go in on you. That's when you kill them, and then you just farm. Get Nash's stood, boots and... whatever this is called. Now you have some potential to kill stuff. If you wanna make a fancy play, use the Shurima's Drifter! They push them with your wall under your tower and profit. Pretty easy stuff. You guys are also pretty good if you actually hit your things. Um, your full build consists of Nash's, boots, this, uh, this item. Uh, Moreo no Minonicon. Nailed it. Um, Rabadon, Void Staff, and the last item is one of those, depending on the matchup and the situation. Alright, <laughs> let's put this down here. Oh, oh, oh boy. Run! Oh no! Oh, oh, orn! No! <laughs> Elis, man. I've got enough on my mind right now, can't really do with you. <laughs> Late game, all you have to do is just summon the peasants and keep tossing them around the battlefield while you're in your base, because that's how the range of your champion feels like. While they're fighting for you, feel free to go and make some coffee for yourself, or perhaps some tea, like whatever you prefer. You can literally obliterate everyone once you get to full build. You remember that uh, Vayne on your team that's 11-3 and kills the enemies quickly? Well, she ain't nothing now. You are the carry. Azir is fun. He is really difficult, but his kit feels somewhat rewarding to play well with. Once you do decide to pick him up, however, be prepared to feed for your first... 100 games or so, just, you know, until you get somewhat used to playing him. After that, however, you start feeling like Faker. It's mm, so moist. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little how to Azir video. Uh, make sure you throw a thumbs up at my face if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe if you would like to see my future content. I make f daily fun uh, League of Legends related videos. And I hope to see you sticking around. And until next time.